Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. My name is Renee, and if this is your first time here, thank you so much. I am excited today. This is the first Tuesday of January, and it is start of a new collaboration for 2023, Shelf Stable Pantry Recipes by Mary Ellen from Prepper Potpourri. She did this collaboration last year, and there was some amazing recipes, so I was really excited to be part of it for 2023. And what this is, is we can make any kind of a recipe we want, but we have to use shelf stable items. With one exception, we can use eggs because a lot of people have their own chickens. But this is to use up items that we have in our pantry that if our electricity is out, we are housebound for some reason that things that we can make. And the cool thing about this collaboration is Mary Ellen made a cover that you can print out and put in the front of a binder and you can print out every recipe. Every recipe will have a link and you can print it out and you will have a great binder of shelf stable pantry recipes. And if you look back, there's a 2022 playlist with every video in it. So there's some great ideas, very creative. I will have the list of all the channels participating this year down below. Today, what I'm gonna make is samosa patties. And if you're not familiar, a samosa is a Indian appetizer. They're usually either in pastry and they're fried and it's vegetarian filling and I love them. My daughter and I go to an Indian restaurant down in Ann Arbor and we, we just, love them but I am going to make patties so I don't have to make the pastry dough don't have to deep fry it'll be much simpler and I'm gonna make it shelf stable usually you boil potatoes and chop onions and all these fresh ingredients but we're doing shelf stable today we're gonna use instant potatoes instead of our own potatoes and these only take water so they're real convenient for the onion flavor I am going to use some dehydrated onions I am going to add them into some vegetables that I cook I'm gonna have peas usually you have frozen peas but we can't do that so we're gonna have some peas here and usually you want some chunks of potato you don't want them smooth mashed so I'm gonna add some canned diced potatoes a samosa so special is the spices that are in it and I'm gonna use some curry powder, some coriander, and cumin. But you could always just adapt to whatever you have on hand. I need some oil, so I have some ghee out that I will use, and but you could use coconut oil. I will probably add some avocado oil too to the ghee. And I'm gonna put the patties in some panko crumbs before I put them in the pan. So let's get started and getting everything together. The first thing is I am going to put some vegetables on to heat. So I'm going to do my I have like a tablespoon of dehydrated onion. I have a can of diced potatoes. I'm not going to make a huge portion of these, so I am going to use a half a can. And the rest I will cook with dinner. And then baby lazur peas. I just picked them because they were smaller. And I'm going to do half a can of them. I added a splash of water to that pan too. I had drained the vegetables and I shouldn't have drained them all the way because I need that liquid to rehydrate those onions. And if you don't have dehydrated onions, use onion powder. It'll be fine. <laughs> Next, we're going to make the instant potatoes. Just okay, we're gonna add the boiling water, two cups, and then the packet. I emptied it out before I was supposed to. Give this a stir. and let it 
set. So let's add our spices now. Let's put a teaspoon of curry powder and you can add more if you like it more seasoned. Half a teaspoon of cumin. Actually quarter teaspoon. quarter teaspoon of pepper. You can use white pepper if you have white pepper. And half a teaspoon of salt. Let's mix that up. taste it. Okay. okay, now we're going to add the vegetables. I'm straining off the water. together. I have my I have my pan on heating on medium. I'm going to put some ghee in there. And also some olive oil. So about a teaspoon, tablespoon of each. Now we're going to sprinkle panko crumbs on a plate. Flatten them out. To the breadcrumbs, add two tablespoons of flour. You just want to take a small amount, and these are kind of wet. If you make them too big, you won't be able to fry them easily. Kind of pat them. Then they go in the oil. After the bottom looks like it's getting browned around the edges, flip it over. It 
it would probably be best to use less than the two cups of water to get a firm enough potato. But by patting in the flour and the crumbs, it makes them sturdier. And let's with and then you put it to rest on a plate lined with paper towel. I have more cooking. I'm making them a little smaller to see if they're easier to manage. Like I said, next time I would keep the potatoes firmer because instant are a little softer than like homemade mashed. So I will not add as much water as the package says. So they usually serve this with mint, like a mint chutney or a tamarind chutney, which I don't have the stuff here for that. But you can use any pepper jelly, which I do have pepper jelly uh, that I can, and you can buy that in the store too. You can use any condiment you like on them. But let me show you what they look like. And The crispy outside helps make it more like a pastry. I want to thank Mary Ellen for inviting me to this. Please check out Prepper Potpourri for the playlist and look below for all the other channels. And don't forget to print out your cover for a binder to save all the recipes all year. And you can add last year's too, because we all need shelf stable pantry ideas. So. See you next time at Pike Creek Farm.